We got a beaver moon coming. It's the full moon for November, but on top of that, we've got a lunar eclipse. That makes it the beaver blood moon. The lunar eclipse will make the moon go from a white, kind of yellow color over to just a red orange color into the overnight hours. The earth is getting in the way of those solar rays, that sunlight from hitting the, the moon, so the moon will get darker. And then right around the earth, you've got all the sunrises and sunsets. Know how sunrise and sunsets seem kind of red orangey? Well, all those sunrise and sunsets right around the earth will be casting their colors right in the moon, and that's why it looks red and orange. But the big question is, we'll be able to see the beaver moon because of some clouds. The clouds are thickening up across much of the United States. All right, so in central time, standard time, now that we've fallen back into standard time now from daylight saving time, right around three o'clock in the morning. Full moon, looks beautiful all night. If you can see it, we're gonna have the cloud forecast in just a moment. But then just before four o'clock, we'll start to notice the moon getting darker on its left hand side. But before it gets really dark, it'll start to brighten back up to a red, an orange color. It peaks with that red and orange color uh, right around 5 o'clock, 4.59 Central Standard Time. And then as we approach the 6 o'clock hour, it'll start to kind of lose its bright red-orange color, start to look just a little bit darker on the right-hand side. And then by 7 o'clock, right before the moon sets and the sun starts to come up, we'll have back to a full moon. Now most folks in, from the Great Lakes to the central United States and westbound should be able to see it from the moon rise and set perspective farther east along the Atlantic coast and into Europe it's going to be a lot harder to see because this is going to be taking place a little bit later in the morning. You know we already passed the morning. It's going to be the sun's going to be coming up too soon in order to really see this. So really in central and western United States you can see this the best but it's going to be a long lasting one. That's a couple hours where it's going to be looking like that red and orange color but will clouds get in the way. This is a nationwide view of the clouds. Let's speed it up to about five o'clock central time. So this will be the time it is eclipsing all across the United States, but five o'clock for central. Well, the gray color shows you the clouds. We've got a lot of clouds in the central United States. Eastern United States, not so bad. We've got a couple partly cloudy skies, but we should be able to see the, the moon at least 80% of the time from Indiana and, and Tennessee and Alabama eastbound all the way to the Atlantic coast. But remember, the sun's starting to come up closer to five o'clock central time for the eastern coast. So that would make it a little bit harder to see, but we may see it, especially for the beginning of the, the lunar eclipse. Back west, though, in parts of the Rocky Mountains, especially in the Front Range, we may be able to clear out from some of the clouds across Colorado, even portions of Wyoming into Arizona, but the farther west you go, getting closer to the Pacific Coast, we've got more systems coming in from the Pacific, and that's going to give us more clouds. So it's going to be pretty difficult to see, especially in parts of California, Oregon, and Washington. It starts to get cloudier this time of year as cold fronts march farther south and bring a lot more cloud cover. Clouds are colder. And so we've got colder air coming in, so clouds become a lot more frequent. But especially across Oklahoma, we're pretty soaked with the clouds. In Arkansas, western half of the state, there towards Fort Smith and the northwest Arkansas corridor, mostly cloudy. There may be a couple breaks here and there. Hopefully, you might be able to see the beaver moon at least briefly during the time where we had that eclipse taking place. Farther east, though, from Little Rock eastbound, you'll start to see it, I think, a little bit better. We've got a few clearer skies, a few more breaks in the clouds once you head east towards Pine Bluff, east towards Memphis, and then really farther into Tennessee, and then back towards the south. El Dorado, south into the Louisiana area, we should be able to have some clear skies to see that full beaver blood moon.